Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we will be looking at the Transformers uh, Generation Selects Galaxy Man Shockwave, who is a black and silver recolor of the Transformers uh, War for Cybertron Trilogy Seed Shockwave. My god, <laughs> the names. Um, but yeah, no, so the Galaxy Man is actually based off of what the toy originally came out in back in 19, back in the 1980s when they were first doing G1. Shockwave had a purple, which became, you know, Shockwave, and then there was a black and silver version. I think that they did at Radio Shack. I could be misremembering that, but that's where this guy comes in. And he's actually a really cool figure. He is like my Shockwave because I don't have the original. This was the only way I could get the Shockwave mold. And quite honestly, I love it. I love it. Sorry, drink. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Uh, but yes, as you can see, man's got four arms. F count them. Four. Three laser blasters and a fist. So he can waggle his fists at those meddling kids down the block while also shooting them for foiling his plans. I'll get you, you dirty kids! And there is something I like to do with uh, the two shoulder pods. Because they kind of look like drones, I kind of plan on like painting, uh, painting the little connection port here with a wee bit of red just so it like pops out and then you can just kind of have it floating around because you just got like the one big thruster here at the back so I, I like imagining that this is a um like a little drone that you can have pilot like, or uh, like survey the battlefield or something like that yeah so and like all this stuff here is detachable you can pull off the two drones as i like to call them Put those off to the side. You can get rid of the little feetsies that are also guns. And then you can get rid of the giant backpack that is like some giant siege cannon. Ha! <laughs> Got that. And now you have a very, very good G1 Shockwave. And he looks bloody amazing in terms of, you know, just the height and everything. Though he is a little small for a, uh, um, oh god, what are they, what are we calling these guys, uh, leader. He's a very short leader, but that's because of all the plastic that came with him. So, you know, all this crap. But yeah, and something that, unfortunately, my lighting set up, because I have a dead bulb right on top of me, um, that's not being shown off is the light for his eye. Um... You know, I do not have a light with me, but it's a really, really good light. Um, and it lights up quite well. Actually, if I can you know, break the immersion. There we go. Yeah, so you can see like that, that lights up really well. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And I'll, uh, ignore the, the hairy arms. There we go can kind of see it, kind of not, uh, but it, it lights up like really well. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so base articulation, he can, he can do the T-pose as Transformers can do. He can now T-pose on Prime. Da -da 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 -da. And he can raise his arms all the way up, but that's mainly for transformation but as you can see he can now cheer for when the Decepticons finally rule or <clears throat> or do that or do that um, he's got a very good kick for a scientist so he can kick that far forward and that far back come on don't so he's got very decent range of movement for a uh... oh right <laughs> I forgot he can also do the splits. Man is more flexible as a as a uh, robotic machine than I did than I am, being able to do the the splits entirely. Lucky son of a gun. But yeah, so that is robot mode. And give me two seconds, and we will have comparisons with the other kind of mono eye, I guess. I 
I don't know. The other very, very interesting um, Decepticon command, or commander, aka Soundwave, who is extremely blocky. And, of course, my setup is all falling apart. Sorry, guys. And there we go. And here we have him with Lord Starscream. So, yeah. Uh, both of these are Voyager. He is a leader. Um, a wee bit of extra parts. I have... Two seconds, sorry guys. There we go. So with like the booties, he's a little taller. So yeah, that works out. All right. So give me two seconds to get him in vehicle mode. Well, both vehicle modes. Yeah, both. Uh, so give me like two seconds and we will be right back. And here we have him in his... Uh, <clears throat> sub mode sorry there we go so here you have him in his uh sub mode even though we all know you flip it over and oh hey look at that it's his g1 gun mode he can go pew pew so yeah it's a really nice take on his uh submarine mode from g1 yes definitely um, yeah, no, it's actually really, like, I can also kind of see this as a, like, a very small cruiser. Um, flip up the little antennae here, and you got yourself, like, a really cute little star cruiser. That, um, and, you know, takes Decepticon troops far, far away. And far, far away. You have two blast effect ports, uh, here and here that are... Really good if you have like the, um, and I don't have any with me, son of a biscuit. I gotta start bringing those with me. Um, yeah, no, so they have, a, you know, the two ports here, and they actually look really well with the, um, ah, uh, crap, yeah, no, I don't have any, um, if you have like any of the, uh, the blast effects that come with like Jetfire or, uh, Omega Supreme, his look beautiful. On uh on the back end of this, or like Rodimus Prime, or if you have the uh, the Tricranius, um, battle pack. Yeah, so that is his base um sub mode, gun mode, and you can actually get a pretty decent like it's no like it's not a really big grip, but you can get a decent handle on it. Like my hands are pretty decent, but I can get a good little read on it and you got to uh you got these two parts here they make an iron sight so you can kind of aim down the barrel of the gun but uh the giant cable's kind of in the way um yeah so for a very quick comparison uh here he is with uh sound waves light post mode so you can kind of see the uh the g1 e inspired designs that fans made and that uh you know hasbro made but also you know had to make so was definitely not a uh a pew pew bang bang gun because you know so uh give me two seconds to get him back into the uh proper vehicle mode and we'll be back in two seconds and here we have him in his star cruiser mode and i will not lie this thing is awesome this is like a planet buster kind of starship mode. Like, I, I can see the Decepticons utilizing these things to just annihilate a planet. And because a lot of these parts are made up from, like, the, the armor, um, you can attack or, or attach or detach a whole bunch of, of these or add, like, a whole bunch of weaponizers because they allow for that. Um, so, one... So this is like your, you know, your standard Star Cruiser. Take off the two giant uh, thrusters here. And you have what is essentially a giant weapons uh, cruiser. Just got the, like, all the power here is just derived for the giant cannon here up front. Or you can have these here. 
plug them up to the front and now he really is mainly designed as a battleship you can just see this thing taking out hordes and hordes of autobots in space or my personal favorite way to have it if i can get this thing to there we go you just take off this whole section here come on you stupid there we go and now you have a blockade runner or a um what do you call it um cruiser or not cruiser a um oh god my ship terminology is crab apples um yeah i i can't uh we'll just call it a blockade runner for right now um i will have probably an update video maybe maybe not on a or maybe I'll just say it in the next video. Um, what I got wrong for this guy. Or you can put it down in the comments. Down below, please. Tell me I am a fool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the uh, the Star Cruiser mode. And I'll just put this right back on. There we are. Come on, tab in, you stupid tabs. Stupid bloody things. There we are. All right, and for very quick comparisons, here we have him with Starscream. And as you can see, these two do not line up whatsoever in terms of scale. <laughs> this thing is massive. This thing should be able to destroy friggin' galaxy-class star cruisers. And this guy would barely put a dent in them. And yet, the jet is bigger. Go figure. <laughs> But this is Transformers, so we know nothing scales properly. Just look at any motorcycle. That's not Ransack from Cybertron. Because his motorcycle doesn't really make any sense anyways. But that's for another time. Um, but yeah, no, so he's actually pretty decently large uh, compared to Star Scrambling. He's got a decent, I don't know, maybe about a couple inches. He's a couple inches on the uh, on the top, and yeah, oh, he's pretty big. So that's it for Starscream, and here he is with Soundwave. And quite honestly, these two look pretty decent together as a uh, two ship, like two uh, spaceships. Like I, I can imagine this being like a, a space tug, just trying to help these guys get into a. Uh, a proper position with the uh, the tractor beam or what I like to call the tractor beams just up front here um yeah no um yeah but uh, I mean Soundwave is still pretty bloody tiny when you compare them to a giant star cruiser well, yeah so that is basically it for Galaxy Man Shockwave I hope you enjoy. I got mine off a of Big Bad Toy Store, and I highly recommend um, those guys uh, checking those guys out because they are really awesome. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, obviously, because I'm brand new and nobody wants to sponsor a newbie. Um, but yeah, no. So that is it for the review today, guys. I will probably see you tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. Um, still trying to work out a whole schedule. Uh, thing for this but yeah um thank you so much for watching if you liked it give me a like maybe a comment saying like giving me tips or tricks on uh what you guys think i can improve on um i will always take feedback or criticisms um but yeah no uh you guys have been great thank you all so much for watching and by the way 41 views on the art fire video that made me so happy if we can hit 44, maybe 45 on this one, I I I would be like soup I would be ecstatic if we got like that many views on just the Galaxy Man. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and again. Have a great day, guys. Shockwave, shockwave, shockwave! What is it, Starscream? What do you want? 
Well, I figured because we're both scientists, you could, uh, could possibly use my help. Me. Use your help. Yes. Is that so wrong? I don't know, Starscream. How many times have you gotten blown up by Megatron? Uh, hmm. 35? 35, yes. 35. 35 times. Hmm. Now, why would I want someone like that working with me? Because we're both scientists? No. Fuck off, Starscream. Or I will shoot you with my guns. That's what I thought. Stupid Starscream. You're not very nice, Shockwave. Shut up. Shut up. I'm the one with four arms. Ah. Idiot.